everyone! So I'm aware it's been quite a while um, since I last put a video up. Um, basically I've got a couple of things like lined up but it's taking quite a while. I'm working on a soundtrack at the minute for something that I'm absolutely mad about but the trouble is I don't have any sheet music for it so I'm just doing it like yeah by year and it's kind of taking a while. So in the meantime I thought I would do a little bit of a different video. Um, and yeah, it's still music related, so hopefully, hopefully it will still appeal to everyone. And yeah, basically it is a birthday present to myself. My birthday was a couple of weeks ago. And I'm just going to shut up talking and show it. So, obviously this lid lifts up. And it's kind of modern and old fashioned at the same time if that makes sense because there's like an on off switch here and a um, earphone like socket thing so you can have earphones in if you want which I don't really see the point in that because there's built in speakers like down the side anyway so to me if you're going to have a record player you know you're going to want to blast it out really um, yeah so this is the needle and it has a little guard thing on it that you just take off and there's a volume control as well um, and yes I'm going to go on to the records. So the one disadvantage that I've found with having records is they do take up space obviously but that's kind of part of parcel of having records, you know, that you like them and you want them to kind of be a collection somewhere. At the minute my collection is four records and they're just kind of, if I just try and show you, they're kind of stacked up, uh, just leaning against there. But I am in looking to invest in some sort of chesty box thing to put them all in. Um, you can get them that are like proper leather vintage cases that are for 12 inch records um, so that'll be a lot better have someone down the side of the house um, I can have somewhere to put them because I've learned from my friend you're not supposed to lay them flat because that can uh, make them warp so you're supposed to have them like vertical um, so yeah I'm going to talk about them now so my first ever vinyl record was this one and it is The World Won't Listen by The Smiths and if you know, well, everyone knows that knows me um, that The Smiths are my favourite band, they're just awesome um, and this is probably the only album that I hadn't got like on my iPod, like digitised but I do have most of the songs that are on this anyway because The Smiths kind of repackaged songs, they put the same ones on different albums and stuff so there's like all the track listings on there, there were a couple that I didn't have but I do know most of them and it's just absolutely beautiful, I love it so much uh, it's a double vinyl and it doesn't fold out, it's like an envelope with, I'm trying to do this one handed, with two like other envelopes with the discs in and they've got all the songs on the back and the lyrics um, I'm just trying to get one out now it will come out there, there you go and it tells you the songs, how long they are and it's this side one so there's four sides all together the one thing I have found that doesn't want to go back in. Yes, it does. Is that with records there is a lot of dust. They get really like staticky, and I don't know how they get dusty to be honest when they're inside these sleeves all the time. But I've just got myself a little um, like fluffy paintbrush because my friend said he uses this to dust his just to like go over them all and get rid of any specks of dust before I start playing them and I found that has helped to keep them clean so yes that is that one um, my mum got me that one for my birthday because she realised it was pretty stupid 
having a record player with no records. <laughs> um, and then the same day, when we went to town, we went shopping, I got myself the Beatles. Um, please please me. Uh, I'm not a massive Beatles fan, really, to be honest. But I walked into HMV and I was like, I'm going to get Beatles because it, they're just classic. Um, you know, it's 60s. You've got to love, you've got to have a bit of Beatles on vinyl. Um, um, there's seven songs on one side and seven on the other. Twist and Shout is my absolute favourite. Um, this one also doesn't fold out, which is a little bit annoying, but nearly all records... Yes, Barney! Uh, <laughs> ...come in these, like, paper sleeves with the little see-through bit in the middle. I'm guessing that's just, like, extra protection for them, really. Um, so yes, I have these, I have all of them on quite a lot to be honest, but um, my mum doesn't, where my mum doesn't really like the Smith, she, you know, does appreciate the Beatles, so it's one that we can both put on and listen to together. The final, uh, the second to last record, I got this one, not from HMV, but from a local record shop. And I just thought, I went with my friend and it is a proper, proper record shop. Like, it is probably the size of this room, which is not that big, and it is absolutely crammed full with records. Like, you just can't move for them and you have to just sift through. Um, so I found this. I'm pretty sure it is probably secondhand because they do sell secondhand ones and it's a little bit sort of tatty around the edges, but I think it makes it look authentic, you know, it looks old, um, it's got that old feel to it, but it's absolutely beautiful, and this one does fold out, um, which I'm just going to show you now, the records start coming out, so that's a bit annoying. So this is it, and it goes all the way across, so it's like a shiny silvery sort of effect, it's absolutely amazing. The back is like that. Again, it's just one disc, five on one side, five on the other. I'm trying to open this without showing the record that's underneath. And there is like an envelope. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, my iPod that I was using to video with just died on me, <laughs> so I'm using my proper like SLR camera. Uh, yeah, basically the record is inside this, with the lyrics on it, and that's the actual record. So that's what's into there. And last but not least, this one I also got from the record shop, Suck It and See by Arctic Monkeys. Um, I'm not a massive, massive fan again, um, and this is actually the first full album of theirs that I've got. Like up until then I only got a couple of odd songs. People have said it's their worst album apparently, that's what I've heard, but my friend said he reckons it's the best, so I went with his recommendation. Um, and yeah, that's the inside. Back's just got the songs on. And again, it's just inside a little paper sleeve like that. So yes, that is about it. So basically, once you've got the record on the actual turntable, um, you lift the needle up and it automatically will start to move and it's just a case of trying to drop the needle down to the very edge and it will start to play. Sometimes you do get a little bit of um, this skip 
the Beatles one does that and it's really annoying. But the sound is like really really clear and I think like people's voices sound um, sound a little bit louder. Like I think now in a lot of current music the backing music drowns out the voice. But on vinyls the voice comes through more than the music, if that makes sense. So yes, um, I probably should have mentioned about this record player, like all record players have though, there is three speed settings and on the actual record it will say what speed it runs at, this one's 33, which is what they all are to be honest at the minute, so I haven't had to adjust the speed at all. Um, that's just another run off switch, there is a pause lever towards the back. If I just show you if I lift this up and then you can drop it back down when you're ready. That's quite cool. And you can basically see the number of songs, like where each little line is, that's where the song ends. So yeah, that is my beautiful record player and my little collection so I will see you guys very soon